Okay, we're live. Hi. Hey, Jenna. Nice to see you again. How the hell are you? Yeah, it's been it's been what a week. It's been a week. It's been over a week since I've seen you and and know. Uh, you know having having whiskeys together. It's too long. So it's too long. Very very happy to see you again. Yes, it's lovely I, to see you. I hope you're well. Yeah, you know. Good. Good. Yeah. All is good. So there's whiskey in nice. front of you. So, you know, it's not all bad. Amen to that. Yeah. Good. So today we're going to talk about two very exciting casks, um, two US exclusive casks. Um, but before we kind of dig into all the juicy details on those, I want to say hi to everyone. Sure. Um, so Daniel Duggar is here. Hello, Daniel. It's been a while since I've talked to you. Um, Tony's here from Minneapolis. Adam Clary's here. We have Jeremy from Houston. Let's see. Somebody was just talking about, I just saw a chat in here. Hi, Connor. I just talked to you a couple yesterday. You know, all these familiar names, but I just, oh, Daniel Duggar was talking um, about sipping on Beachcomber and like what a great whiskey that is for like this hot weather. And oh, I, yeah. We actually released that about a year ago. Yeah. Beachcomber. We released that right before Memorial Day weekend. And uh, yeah, that was, I actually drank. In an effort to <laughs> cut back on my beer consumption, I basically drank a tall beachcomber and soda like almost every day of the summer last year. I was just um, going to say. So I was very, I was very well acquainted with that for for months. Yes, uh, that was actually delicious my whiskey too. Was the like a highball essentially, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did a highball, no garnish. Just some sparkling water and ice, and and man, it's a nice way to cruise into the evening. I'll tell yeah. you. Yes. Yeah. I agree. So I thought that was <laughs> that was like kind of a trip down memory lane to see Beachcomber. Um, yeah. yeah, man. What, what was it? A blend? That, that was a blended malt distilleries, twenty six and ninety three. Ooh. Ooh. That was a fun combo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that yeah. was. So nice. Also, the whole other crew's here. Adam's here. Evan's here. Rob's here. We have the the whole gang's here. So it's nice, nice. to see everyone. Thanks for everybody. Us. Yeah. So I, I imagine we have some dads in the house. There have to be some some dads in the house. This is yeah. uh the month of Father's Day. So, uh, yeah. So You're a dad. A, I am. A, this is my first my first Father's That's Day coming up. Yeah. So yeah. Very uh, yeah. Cool. I mean, it's. It's cool. It's very, very cool. Um, yeah, the, the last uh, almost year, the last nine months have been super wild. Last 18 <laughs> months, I guess I should say. I should probably count in the, that little thing called pregnancy, right? Right. Um, yeah, yeah. So it's it's been a wild trip and we're just warming up. So it's really yeah. cool. Eleanor's in a really fun state right now. Like she's, you know, she's standing, she's kind of starting to let go of things and see if she falls. And yeah, <laughs> I mean, it, it, it definitely increases my blood pressure a bit, but just it's wait. So, it, it's, just I know, wait. I mean, you have, you have an 11 year old, 12 year old. Yes. Girl? Yes. So yeah. just wait, you are, your blood pressure, you think it's high now. But <laughs> there are days when I'm like, I'm Oop. like, I just need to sit down. I just need to have a moment. Hey, yeah, have a dram. Yeah, sure. <laughs> We're in a good um, line of work for that kind of stuff. Yes, so that, yes. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and there, there are some dads here. Um, Adam's a girl dad. Adam Hall's a girl dad. And then Adam Clary says he's a current dad, plus a dad again in two months. So congratulations. Nice. Yeah. Three times. Congratulations. Yeah. That's so, awesome. Well, in well, of dadage out there in the world, you want to talk about some of these exclusive fancy cask we have today? Yeah, to yeah, I, I'd be very happy to. So, uh, so so last year, we we really wanted to choose two casks that uh, would appeal to a uh, Father Day gift giving crowd, as well as our members at large. Because I mean, let's be honest, whether you're a dad or a mom or an aunt or an uncle or a brother or sister, what have you. I mean, we're all enjoying whiskey together. So yes, it's for dad. But it's for everybody else too, um, and and you know I, I was uh, I was hoping to find a couple of casts that were very complementary of each other, um, one that had a bit more age, one that was a little younger, uh, and preferably sherried and peated, 
And because Ewan Campbell is a swell guy and uh, likes to make us happy here in the US, um, he basically ticked all of those boxes for me. And we have a couple of casts now that are that are available since yesterday that are that are just fantastic. Um, an old and dignified, which could very easily be a deep, rich and dried fruit as well. Um, I mean, you could go either way with that, but at 23 years old, I think old and dignified is, is just fine. And a heavily peated 11 year old. So <laughs> talk about complimentary. I mean, you got Sherry in one glass, you got a yeah. buttload of Pete in another glass. So, I mean, that's, that's a lot of fun. Well, I'm excited. So, uh, yeah. 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 See, you don't have to be a dad to be excited about these whiskeys. I mean, no, no, yeah. Everyone should enjoy them. But sure, I mean, if you have a dad in your life, throw him a bottle. They probably deserve it. <laughs> Are you nosing already? Yes, I can't. Oh, man. Oh, it's so wow. hard because they're sitting, right in. Okay. They've been on my on my desk uh, all morning, and I have just been staring at them. And then I poured them into the glass, and then I Ooh. just. How do you just let something like this sit in front of you and not know? I know. I had it off to the side and now, yeah, we're here. Yeah. We're here. Yeah. So I know we have some other stuff to kind of, you know, talk about, but we can like save that until after we taste the whiskey. Yeah, sure. Okay, <laughs> yeah, whatever you want, Jenna. It's, it's your show. I'm just along for the ride. I mean, whatever you want to do. <laughs> You're the master of ceremonies here. Okay. I'm, ju okay. I'm just the, uh, I'm the, I'm just like the boozy dude in the, in the YouTube tartan. Um, well, um, yeah. yeah, so let's, I'm ready to kind of kick this off and then we can kind of, you know, we'll, we'll absolutely. Get and then so, we'll keep going. Yeah. So, so as I was, as I was saying, you know, the, we wanted exclusive casks. We wanted to have a lot of bottles for our members to enjoy. And, uh, and both of these are exclusive casks for the U S only. Um, and, uh, you know, good outturns from both of them over 200 bottles, nice. um, you know, a, a good dent has been put in, in both of them since uh, yesterday, but there's still plenty, plenty available. Um, and, uh, you know, they're, uh, they're a delicious set. So I think without further ado, yeah, Je Jenna, why don't you, yeah, the why don't you jump one. in there? All right. So the first one is cask 30.117. It is called a dram of gratitude. And this is a 23 year space side um, that was first in an expert in hogshead and then cruised on into a first fill ex Pedro Jimenez hogshead at Sid. Oh gosh, there we go. 61.2% ABV. And it has 61.2. The little, a little wow. my right. There it is. I'm not very good at this. It's been a while. Yeah. You're a lot better than I am. Let me tell you. <laughs> um, yeah, it's uh, sixty-one point two percent. I mean, where were the angels? I mean, it's I mean, a lie. Twenty-three I years, they were they were on sabbatical, uh, doing something else. I, I'm not sure, but that's a that's a pretty big proof for something twenty-three years old. I mean, I would assume that would be more in like say the fifty-three to fifty-five range. But hey. That's what that that's what the cask gave us, and wow, that's an electric nose. That's yeah. really like I nosed it before we started oh. the live stream, and I was like, "Ooh, that's gonna be delicious." There's almost like this, like roasted, like yam kind of note I'm getting on this, like. But then there's like, I mean, this I'm is getting, like I'm getting a ton of confection like kind of gooey toffee and salted caramel and oh and a yeah. nice prick, prickle of heat i mean that uh that alcohol is there it, i mean it tells you you're in for a pretty pretty robust palate i'd say yeah but once like it's it's so there's so many layers to this yeah oh absolutely like it's, this is a very complex nose cuz i'm definitely <laughs> picking up on those herbaceous edges that you're talking about, like yeah. with, uh, with roasted yams. I mean, certainly like there's this local barbecue place where I get uh, candied yams in like butter, uh, really heart healthy, you know, I'm doing my best to uh, stay obese. Sounds delicious. Um, but yeah, I mean, I get a lot of that, that kind of characteristic in it. Gosh, oh, okay. That's just full of like really nice, rich confection. 
Yeah, I want to like pour this Good over spice. a sweet potato souffle. Like a, a I didn't know you, you would souffle sweet potato. Okay, yeah. that's I'm coming over for dinner. Yeah, I just like to you know put whiskey in everything. So yeah, again, old and dignified. I mean, this is a very energetic nose for an old and dignified dram. I would typically think for for that sort of flavor profile, we'd be getting more secondary, tertiary kind of flavors. Um, this to me is very primary, uh, very intense and, oh, really rich. Slanja. Oh, I'm like way ahead of you. I couldn't wait. Really? Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll, I'll forgive you this time. Okay. But this is like oh. mm. dense chocolate cake with like cinnamon whipped cream and like a side of like a little glass of sherry, like sitting in a dark room. There's like candles, there's probably bats in the corner. Like, I feel like this is like, almost like vampire whiskey or something. Yeah, wow. <laughs> this is a trip, wow. That's a, that's a mouthful. Mm. Wow, so let me just take another sip here. Yeah, I'm going back into. Has great texture. Mm. There's a really nice texture. It's it's like a like a whipped, and maybe it's because I'm thinking of that sweet potato souffle in my head. But there is like a whipped kind of texture to this. That's really nice. Yeah, it's a nice it's a nice balance of of both texture and also tannic structure. Certainly yeah. get some of that from the barrel. Um, and boy, just like lots of I mean a bit more like not super dried fruits but more like sauteed in butter and spices kind of yeah. fruits yeah um and uh uh you know still more of more of that kind of toffee coming through all those chocolatey notes that you mentioned are spot on yeah it has this a really nice kind of baker's chocolate vibe to it yeah um like lots of we can kind of go through the spice cabinet there's all kinds of different things in there um yeah but i think uh, it's like yeah, had, that's, <laughs> that's really nice you had a glass of sherry and then you had a big slice of just gooey chocolate cake and you just enjoyed those at the same time that is this whiskey like it's like that mm. moment in ratatouille where he eats like the cheese and the grape and it just like is like you know this harmonious moment and there's like music playing this is that whiskey Wow. I like that. I dig that. It's a fun movie, actually. Though, is just, ooh. Wow. Damn. I mean, yeah. that 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 keeps coming. I mean, several seconds after I'm swallowing, I'm I'm still getting waves, not just on the finish, but at the front of my palate. Yeah, um, is that, is a, that is a big, bold whiskey. That is spot on. I think that is a great way to describe it. There is nothing, like, you know, soft mm. and delicate about this. It is, you know, it is just full throttle from start to finish. Wow. I would have gone deep rich and dried fruits on this. Yeah, I would have too actually. I mean, you know, doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah. I mean, the, the, the proof is in the pudding, so to speak, but wow. <laughs> There's just a I lot of energy. There's a lot of energy in this dram from start to finish. Big time. You know, a lot of liveliness, a lot of freshness that I, I probably wouldn't, you know, equate with old and dignified, um, but that's yeah. that's fine. I mean, you know, listen, we're all on our personal taste journey anyway, so <laughs> it's 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 cool, man. You know, yeah, actually, as long as as long as this ends up in your belly, I think you're doing all right. Yeah, no, this this is this is really beautiful. And I actually had a question from a member, um, Dane Cleric. I don't know if you're here. Um, he asked kind of how this compared to inter Inferno toffee pudding. The one that oh, we yeah yeah so thirty point one eleven. Do I have that up here? I don't. Yeah, mine's tucked away at the moment, so I couldn't do a side by side. Um, but that was a, a good question. I thought because um, I know there are quite a few members who really enjoyed that whiskey. I'm not sure. Sorry, guys. I feel like this. I feel like the 
from what I can remember of that whiskey, I feel like I that was see it. more like, I don't know, this is just way more lively to me on the palate. Um, well, the 30.111 was, uh, thir I believe, 13 years old. Yeah. And um, I know that the, the, the cask maturation gave it a very pronounced kind of hit of sulfur, mm -hmm. like that sort of struck match character. Mm -hmm. That is not present in this one at all. That that is completely absent. Um, I would say, as as far as richness of sherry, it's probably on the same level. Maybe um, this this expression is, for lack of a better term, a little fresher. If that yeah. if that makes sense, it's it's the, like lively. The fruit components are really crisp and clean. Yeah. The the confection is really textural and just kind of keeps coming. And the spices are very nice. You get a bit of the cabinet spice. You get a bit of, of, of oak spiciness. Um, and, uh, yeah. I mean, Inferno Toffee Pudding was, was a great dram. Um, and these have some similarities. Uh, but, but uh, I mean, this one is, you know, a bit more lively and, and 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 fresher to me. Yeah. yeah. And at 20 That's a great question though. Yeah, that's that's what I thought and I would have done a side by side um cuz it would be fun to compare the two, but I don't know, this one just has it's that chocolate. Like this is just a big chocolate bomb and mm. like getting around that's really difficult for me. So well, I love chocolate and I I, love uh, <laughs> so. I drained my neat pour, so I'm going to re up yeah. here. And uh, I want to dilute this because at 61.2%, I mean, a lot of our members, members will be very comfortable with that, uh, oh. with that level. Um, but I think that this might, might actually benefit a bit from some dilution. Yeah. So I'm going to add in some water until I get rid of that prickle on the nose. Well, as you are doing that, I'm going to read the tasting notes on the bottle because I think they're really spot on. Um, so it says toffee and cocoa dusted dark chocolate swirled in cinnamon whipped cream as nutmeg, turmeric, and five spice joined heavy fruit cake. I would just change the fruit cake to like Bruce Bogtrotter chocolate cake. Bruce Bogtrotter? Who the hell is Have that? Have never seen Matilda? Matilda, no. What? My child's nine months. She's not watching any TV what? yet. So... Okay, uh, yeah, but you've yeah. never seen Matilda where they're like, Bruce, Bruce, and he has to eat the giant cake and he the trunch is there and she's no. like him and he's like shoving all this chocolate cake. In Should I cake? put this in my queue for Netflix uh, yes. or what? Matilda. Absolutely. Now is it is it for kids or adults or both? Both. Okay. I mean, I'm an adult and I love it. I mean, to put things into context, <laughs> I am like I am currently peeling away the layers of Sesame Street. Which, by the way, when I was a little kid, I wasn't too impressed with Sesame Street. Today, as a 44-year-old man, I mean, <laughs> these guys are brilliant. So that's just that's where my head's at right now. All right, um, all right. Yeah. You'll get to Matilda. You'll get you'll get there. Anyway, um, so okay, Matilda. Sure. Yeah. Bruce Bruce okay. Bob Trotter. So that's not something that's not something I can order through Gold Belly and have delivered to my apartment. You know, be, I don't know. I feel to be like clear. I feel like every tasting you and I have, we are putting out like these multi-million dollar ideas. Like we talked about peated creme brulee. We're talking about Bruce Bogtrotter chocolate cake. I mean, like every time I feel like we're coming up with some whiskey food magic. Um, so, you know, just gonna throw that out there. <laughs> well, listen, it's just what it's what we do, right, Jenna? It's what we do. It's what okay. We do. So I've I'm pretty much. Yeah, I'm I'm well diluted here. I'll put some water in this. What I have left. Oh, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Now I'm getting kind of like crepes flambe, uh, like really nice sweetness, but a little bit of a citrus accent. Um, oh yeah. I think that salted like, caramel like, really pops. Like, Burnt orange peel, the salted Ooh. caramel is there. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's lovely stuff. I mean, there is like a a butter, like it is like a like a brittle or like a 
Mm. That caramel brittle kind of like brown sugar and butter, like that, the way that tastes yes. is this yep. nose like intensified. Wait till you taste it. As you're talking about brittle, I'm just getting like this beautiful, like kind of hazelnutty brittle uh, on the palate. Oh man. Uh, a bit of nuttiness comes out for sure to me. Yes, I agree. Um, that I didn't really get on the on the neat palette. Um, that's pretty interesting. Yeah, this is this whiskey is is I think uh, I mean a winner. Oh. Sure. This whiskey is it's gorgeous. It's I mean beautiful. they're two very different experiences here: neat and yeah. diluted. You know, I mean, those are two pretty separate experiences, which is is interesting to me. I mean, usually you'll pick up most of what you got on the neat nose or neat palate with a couple of improvisations along the way. But wow, that's, uh, I mean, that is silky and I mean, still a little bit of spice. Yeah. Very, the, very nice. I agree. The spice but, is definitely there. But more of that like kind of high toned lighter brighter confection like like caramel and toffee and oh that's that's very very good yeah and i think i actually like it a little bit more with water yeah like i didn't have very much left in my glass and i just kind of did like a you know one drop into the glass but i think i like it a little more i think it brings forward that like buttery caramelly you know very like buttery yeah. no that, yeah. that brittle, I think that is that is spot on. I think with water, it is it's brittly. That's so gorgeous. It's it's really a beautiful. That's dish. a that's a really really beautiful dram. Um, a dram of gratitude, if you will. Um, but yeah, I mean, yikes! That's <laughs> <laughs> yikes. That's that's really cool. I mean, you know, to to taste a sample like over a year ago and then have it here bottled. Yeah and and moving out to our members as we speak is 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 really cool yeah so so yeah, for so those of you who haven't gotten one yet uh i would certainly recommend that yes. um and uh if you have gotten one yeah feel free to get another there's still a few still a few kicking around yeah um one for dad one for mom that's right sure oh, one, cool. for, one for everybody in the family that's fine yeah Everyone gets one. So, um, so yeah, that was cast 30.117, a dram of gratitude. And for those of you following along, like, you know, you can go on the website, it's available and read, read the full tasting note. Jenna shared the abridged bottle note, but, uh, but yeah, uh, that is, that is totally available to you to, uh, take a look at on your own. And this is available independently on its own. Yeah. Um, at 260 and then it also is available in a bundle with the next whiskey that we are going to be tasting so um you do save a little bit in that bundle um but if you want this just independently yeah, it's, i mean it saves you 50 bucks you know on the you know the individual costs right so that's a that's a nice chunk of change for sure and i mean you just you you, you have it all there i mean you have this like deeply expressive sherry cask and then the next monster that we're going to get to. <laughs> I just nosed it and I was like, and you were like, don't taste it. And I was like, okay, I'll save it. <laughs> yeah. I, I tasted, uh, I, I tasted them, uh, earlier, uh, you know, a couple days ago and, and, um, I was like, wow, like you cannot mess around with this second one. Like if you want to taste anything after it, you, you will have to, basically taste all the whiskey you want beforehand and then get to this guy. Cause this one's gonna, gonna blow your doors off for sure. And this Do is- Do you wanna get to it? Yeah, yeah. This, one's, this one is up there too in ABV. So well, just- It's an 11 year old. I mean, that, that makes a bit more sense to me for sure. Yeah. Well, without further ado, the second part of this duo is cast 16.43 confessions of a barbecue. Gosh, I'm still not so great at this. Uh, what, a, your what, a, what a cool name. You know? I know. There was a book I read several years ago called confessions of an economic hitman. And I mean, it was, you know, whatever <laughs> I mean, it's this thing, but I just, I just love that. Like confessions of a, 
whatever it is. Fill in the blank. It's a really fun memoir. And, you know, this, uh, this Confessions of a Barbecue, that's aptly named for this, for this big boy, for sure. Yeah, this is, the nose on this is a dream, like a dream. If you- I mean, look at that color. That's like, that's a couple shades darker than it's our our previous whiskey that spent two years in in a Pedro Jimenez hogshead. I mean, that's so, like- Dang, that is- Dang is right. That's dark. That's like it sweet, is. looks like sweet tea in the glass. Yes. Um, but the but nose yeah. on this is, I mean, dream up the perfect nose of a whiskey and this is- I mean, it is stupid. I, I want an air freshener that smells like this. You know, if you go to a distillery 29's um, shop, their, uh, their gift shop, you, know, you can get like candles and soap. Yeah. That's, that's, you know, peated whiskey scented or whatever. Right. And oh, it's, it's so lovely. It is. Yeah. yeah. This is a, uh, I feel like the distillery certainly the deserves a bottling. Yes. <laughs> yes. You know, yes. Of some, some sort of fragrance. Yeah. Yes. Um, I remember oh. when I visited Glenfiddich and I still remember the smell of the soap in their bathrooms because it was the most incredible smelling soap. I, I was like, you just have to come all the way to Scotland to experience it. But yeah, um, you know. Yeah. Oh, oh my boy. <laughs> what, do you, what are you getting here? Like, where so, do you start? Gosh, there is this like element of sweetness to it that I'm trying to put my finger on. And it's well, almost I, I read the bottle note and oh I'm not doing that I mean you know it's it's human nature right I haven't read but it yet I'm gonna do I that. get these I just get these sticky ribs like really like you know Korean barbecue sticky ribs oh yeah, my my husband actually makes a rib that has like a cinnamon sugar kind of rub on it. Mm -hmm. uh, and they're incredible. So they get like that nice crust on the outside. And I think this would pair really well with those. But it's it's almost reminding me if you like, you know how, how you've seen people who, back to dessert, who like make cakes and they bake on a grill. They use like a cast iron, um, you know, pan of some sort, and then they will bake a cake on a grill. Um, and this reminds me of like a pound cake that has been baked on a grill. I've never seen anything like that. Yeah. Uh, but like I mean, that, that it. sounds really wild. Yeah. Uh, but I, I can totally see that because there is tons of smoke on this nose. Tons. Yeah. Oh, man. But that like. Big just... wafts of smoke. Like, like imagine, I don't know, you're in some sort of like cylindrical space and there there is smoke all around you, but coming right down the center is all kinds of beautiful sweetness there yeah there is there is definitely this like underbelly of this like sweet pound cake and wow. then it's just like yeah. swirls of smoke i guess like you know those those um boxes that you like smoke a cocktail in yeah yeah right. so just put a pound cake in one of those smoke it you're going with that pound cake you yeah, are it's, it's like it is it is ride or die cake. pound cake time for you yeah sure all right, I'm giving this a taste. Oh, that's nice. Mm. Okay, well, it was nice talking to you today. I have to go now. This? That's a ball buster right there. <laughs> Woo. Wow. That is a, that is a mouthful of whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've been doing this a long time, but yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm watering a bit too. My, oh my, that is. We finally like shed tears. Sweet smoke, antiseptic, like vanilla icing. Uh, I mean, all kinds of weird, like roasted meats and things. Yep. Just coming at you. Uh, wow. I almost get that little sweet tea element that you were 
hinting at in the note that won the color, but there is definitely like a little, yeah, this is like total barbecue, like Sunday, you have ribs, you have sweet tea, you have like, you know, sweets and salty things and like everything is there and you have a giant plate of it and you eat a little bit of everything and then mm. chug a big sweet tea. This is it. How does so much iodine get into these things? I that's my know. question. That's a, that's a there question. is that, there is, there it's, is that very sort of Isla pronounced character yes. in a in a squarely Highland peated whiskey. Yes. I like how does how does that happen? Um, I don't really know, but it's fascinating for sure, it is. and and it's consistent with this distillery. Yeah. Do you uh, know where their peat comes from? Uh, I I actually don't. I know I know that they they're peating to eighty ppm's. Um, which is just pretty high, you know, uh, and and of you know, the Distillery Sixteen does for the majority unpeated whiskey, out of 200,000 uh, 200, or so liters that are produced a year, which is really small for any any distillery in Scotland, um, at least one that's not considered a craft distillery. Of those two hundred thousand, um, ten percent or so, you know, like like five, 10,000 liters of that is devoted to this heavily peated spirit. Um, so I'm not sure where they're sourcing their peat from. Yeah. I would, I would assume that they're getting, you know, Simpson's malted, uh, peated malted barley from the Highlands. Um, that's what I would assume. Hmm. But, uh, but you know, they're, they're not, they're not peating on site. So they're getting their, yeah, they're malted barley to spec anyway. Yeah. Um, so is that happening out of Port Ellen? Is that happening elsewhere? I, I'm not sure. Yeah. But in any case, in the glass, it's it's a pretty um, atypical expression of, of Highland peat for sure. For sure. Especially stacked up against, say, a 66 or a 108. Big time. Um, you know, that's uh, this is this is really intense stuff. Yeah, and I feel like. You know, if you are a fan of those, you know, big, I love big peat bombs. I mean, this is, I know there are still some people who are like very dead set and just sticking with Isla. Um, but this is well worth the exploration into something a little different because these, these six have totally. Well, there's a richness, you know, this is a, you know, Richard Hogshead, right? And it's, it's just a Richard Hogshead for 11 years. So you are, you are getting, you know, a lot of a lot of that uh, act activity in the cask yeah. coming through in the whiskey. But there's a sweetness that, quite frankly, I, I find it hard to find in in Isla without a secondary maturation of some sort, yeah. without putting that Isla whiskey in a in a sherry cask or, or some other sort of cask. I mean, there's certainly you know some level of sweetness in a lot of those those malts. But this is just opulent. Like opulence is is the word for this, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Uh, it's it's really round, really full, and you know, beautiful. Like kind of melted brown sugar over mm -hmm. over uh, a campfire, campfire ember. You know. Yeah, and it's funny in reading the tasting note. Mm. This. You know, there's always those things in whiskey that you taste, and you're like, oh, I just can't put my finger on it. Like what, I know what this is, but my brain's just not, you know, getting it out. Um, and this definitely did it. So this has plumes of smoke engulfed in muscovado sugar, caramelizing on pork ribs with sizzling banana and singed pineapple as a soot mixed with orange oil. And that orange oil is, that orange oil is spot on. There is like in the finish of that, that little tinge of that like rind, like some kind of rind. That is, that's it. This gets better yeah. and better. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm to gonna take another sip, neat, and then and then I'll go about uh, diluting. So, all right, cheers. Well, I'm, I'm gonna add a little water to what I have left here. Hmm. 
it's so fragrant. The nose on this is just so fragrant. I mean, you could keep, I mean, really both of these whiskeys, the nose on them are just mm. absolutely unreal. You could keep your nose in these glasses for, for hours. But the now nose, I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about these charred, these charred tropical fruits. And that's such mm. a spot on description. Cause you know, you, you, you have to acclimate to all of this smokiness. Yeah. But once you once you kind of you know get a get a hold of that, this next level, this next layer of of all these beautiful fruits come come through, and uh, wow, that's that's really cool stuff. Very 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 good stuff. I mean, these are really two. I mean, these are exceptional. And well, they're pretty cool. opposite, right? I mean, they they're both packing a serious punch for sure. I guess I guess that's a commonality between the two of them. But other than that, I mean, this is, if, if you're going to do a two whiskey tasting and just knock the socks off of somebody, I'm pretty sure you have what you need with these two guys right here. I have no socks um, on and they have been, yeah. Off. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. That was a dad joke. That was very good. It was, yeah. it was fantastic. I'm practicing. No socks. Yeah. No socks. <laughs> Oh boy! All right. So this is at one fifteen for this individually. So, um, do you want to talk a little bit about you know the bundle of these two and um, what the price is on that? Uh, sure. Um, I just want to throw some water in here real quick. But uh, as far as the bundle is concerned, we uh, we named it the Whiskey Lover's Dream. Which, quite frankly, if you know if you're into big, bold, kick-ass whiskey. This is a dream bundle. I, I mean, you got you got a lot going on it here. It really is. So, um, so that bundle is available at three hundred and twenty-five dollars. So, I think individually these would total two three seventy-five. So you're you're saving fifty bucks, which probably covers at least the shipping for most folks around the country. Yeah. Um, and uh, George George regretted that he only ordered sixteen point five three. Um, well, George, give us a call. We'll, we'll sort that out for you, man. Don't worry about it. Yeah, it looks um, like you remedied it with the two-pack dad bundle just now. I like that, the dad bundle. Nice. Very good. Um, so, yeah, those are available. As long as one of them is in stock, uh, that bundle will be will be going. So, um, you know, it's a great gift to yourself. It's a great gift to someone else who who you you think will enjoy some, some pretty – bold whiskeys uh yeah so that's about it on the bundle i mean it's pretty straightforward yeah. it's pretty, you know. yeah. again this is this is a a bundle that i think is like you said it really does just <laughs> knock your socks off i mean these whiskeys are absolutely stellar oh, oh yeah they're not they're not shy you know no. i mean it, it's not like we're sitting here pulling out you know the delicate nuances of orchard fruits and whatever else you know it's like boom like yeah. and, but once it's once safe. you get used to that that kick you know then you start peeling back the layers of, of each of these yeah. so it's uh it doesn't start out as a nuanced journey but you sort of end up there after a few sips because all of a sudden you're realizing that there's so much more than that sort of shock and awe like front palate um so yeah and I kind of like great, that great stuff. In is like you get dessert first and then you get like a big meaty smoky dip. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. nice. It's like a full meal. So, so yeah, these are both available now on the website at smwsa.com. Um, I know there've been quite a few of you who have ordered these. So I'm really excited for you all to get them and kind of give us your hot take on them because I think these are going to be, you know, good conversation pieces for sure. Absolutely. So, all right. Well, I don't know. Do you have anything else like hiding in your office that? May, I, I mean, I have, I have so many whiskeys. It, it, it's it's crazy. I, I could yeah. plot some samples of things, but uh, but I I mean, let's talk about uh, I mean, let's talk about Father's Day in general. Yeah, let's uh, do it. And and what you know what what options there are. So, um, so right now we have. Out on our join page, we have three different bottle bundles: an, an entry level, a peated, and a, a premium bundle that you could 
give the gift of society membership and an awesome bottle with. And we also have as a fourth option, um, the society tasting kit, which has been a bit of a well-kept secret for a little while, but it is now on our, uh, on our website. So should I, should I pull one out? That's what I was hinting to of things hiding in your office. Oh, this thing? Sure. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the Cadillac of tasting kits. <laughs> Holy cow. Look it's at that so guy. Beautiful. Using my lighting to create a, oops, there we go, wrong way. A pop in suitcase of whiskey. All right. So, yeah. So, there is this. So, this tasting kit has been a dream of, a, of ours since we, we joined the society in 2016, and it's finally come to fruition. So for those of you who remember what the tasting kit was all about, uh, from basically 2003 until now, um, it was essentially three 100 ml bottles and a bunch of tchotchkes that are fun, but useful, eh, you know, that's, that's kind of, <laughs> you know, that, that's, you can go either way there. However, what we thought was, well, you know, if we're gonna have a tasting kit, we might as well create a tasting kit that empowers our members to have an at-home tasting. So finally, here, let me change my view a little bit. Doom, 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 doom. Um, so you have this, this tasting kit with two like hidden sort of side sure. things here. And, and one of them, actually the tab is, is no longer available to me. Oh, here we are. So, um, so let's start with the smaller one. Uh, we have a fun uh, tasting mat. And let me just get this guy out of here. So you have a tasting mat for your drams. And with each, kind of gives you a, a helpful tip to, uh, to taste on your own. And behind it, you have a nice um, whiskey notebook. It's just a, a plain notebook that you can keep any kind of whiskey notes in. And then, of course, the very important part, the three casks of, of a single cask whiskey, 100 mLs each, that you would use as the basis for your very first tasting. So that uh, that's compartment will you, number one. Will you flip over the back of that little front? Yes. Oh, right. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So on the back side you have all of our uh, flavor profiles and useful kind of indicating flavors uh, that, are, that are spelled out for you under each. So if you want to do some homework and try and, you know, brush up on your, uh, on your um, blind tasting, this is a great way to do it. So it goes through all 12 uh, along with some, some useful indicators. Yeah. I really so like that's, that. Yeah, that's it's a nice feature for sure. Yeah, you know, it just especially gets going gets the creative juices going. Yeah. And, uh, so that that's door number one. So you have your tasting mat and your whiskeys, but what are you going to <laughs> do with those whiskeys? You're going to pour them into door number two. Are those oh, glasses? These are glasses, man. These are glasses. I feel like Vanna White right now. <laughs> All right. So here, beautiful uh, crystal. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you should cue some music right now. I know. Uh, but, uh, but in any case, um, two society nose and glasses, a water carafe, and a pipette for adding said water for your solution. Um, and, uh, I mean, this is a really nice home tasting kit. It really is. And this is, this is also available right now um, on our website as a bundle. So for those of you who know someone who's kind of just getting into it or have been around for a while and you want to you want to give them those tools that, that allow them to have a nice at-home tasting the tasting kit is fantastic yeah um so again we, we have that tasting kit we have the uh we have the bottles on the website right now but you should know everyone who's watching and who uh, checks this out in the next uh next few days uh that the Whiskey's on our join page as part of our bottle bundles will be changing. So as of Tuesday next week, the 8th of June, 
we will actually be using um, for our uh, entry level bottle bundle, a, a space side cask from distillery number 63. For our peated bundle option, it will be this cask 16.53. And thank you, Vanna. And for our, and for our uh, premium bundle, it will be 30.117 dram of gratitude. So uh, those will be switching up on, on uh, Tuesday of next week. So feel free to grab some, some fun bundles now, or feel free to wait until Tuesday when we roll out our new ones for Father's Day. But in any case, it's, it's a tremendous gift for whiskey lovers who are not yet a part of the society. Uh, you do net out with a, I believe a $49 saving on the membership itself when doing the bundles. And so that's a great way to not only give that gift of membership, but to show them how this whole thing works. You order the whiskey, it shows up at your door, you enjoy it. It's a very simple and highly enjoyable process. So, uh, yeah. Um, yeah that's that. We, you know, that was, yeah. The tasting kits are the here. Kit. Yeah, the tasting so, kits are right yeah, here. And what cool. I do love is that um, the whiskey that's in the tasting kits, those you don't see bottled like in our full bottles. Um, those whiskeys no. are exclusive. No, they're the different whiskeys altogether, yep. and they will change. You know, over the course of a year, they'll change a few times. So, it's it's kind of a fun uh, fun way to do that. So, but they but um, they will show three very different styles of whiskey in there. Yeah. And the, so the tasting kits are um, in the join tab of the website. So if you go to smwsa.com, you'll see the join tab right up top. If you click on that, you'll see the three um, different bundles. And again, as Tom said, those will change on Tuesday the 8th um, with three different whiskeys, of which two are the ones we tasted today. Um, and then you'll see the tasting kit right underneath it. But Johan and anyone else who's watching, if you if you want a tasting kit, um, just give us a ring. We'll, we'll be happy to hook you up with one. We can All definitely right. that. So can we, I'm sorry. So 16.53. I know we deviated with, with the, the showcasing of... <laughs> I guess the grand reveal of the tasting kit, but I want to go back to this. Do uh, I want to go back to this diluted nose. Do not have to twist my arm for that. Oh, yeah. I will add a small amount of water. I don't have any of my fancy droppers or anything, so it's just the finger in the glass and let the. Well, with with this, I mean, I think you can just kind of glug it in. I mean, it's it's pretty intense whiskey to begin with. So very dignified way of adding water to your whiskey. <laughs> I know. Slow. It's very slow. Man. Oh, man. The the notes on this whiskey, I cannot get over it. Uh Connor's asking a question of how do we decide which whiskeys go inside the tasting kit? Is that a well is that yeah. a well so, so those are, I mean, th those are decided in the UK with our input and um, they're changing, you know, throughout, throughout the year. So uh, there are certain whiskeys that are designated for these tasting kits, uh, whereas others are designated for bottling in, in, you know, regular bottles. So there is a bit of planning behind it, um, but they, they do change. And, and that's, you know, essentially with the UK taking the lead and, and us providing input. Um, but at the end of the day, whatever's ending up in these casks is showing you a, a very different experience dram to dram as far as uh, flavor profile is concerned. Yeah. So I added some water to this. Mm. And I don't want to sway you in any way with my opinion. Mm. So what do you think? Mm. I mean, I think that's really good juice, man. Like that is just, now it's a bit more honey. Um, kind of, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm getting uh, not as much of, of the meatiness now mm -hmm. on the nose, still comes through on the palate, like really nice, like kind of honey glazed duck or something like that. Mm. Uh, yeah, there's, there's a gaminess to it. There's a, yeah. there's a richness on the palate. On the nose, yeah, it's a little bit lighter obviously, but yeah. I feel like well, with a little bit of water, it really brings forward that like sooty, like ember, 
you know, like freshly put out ember kind of, you know, palette on that. I mean, it gets really sooty and really smoky with a little bit of water. I think you kind of lose a little bit of that sweetness for me. Um, and it's just a big, just soot bomb with a little bit of water. Okay. I still get the sweetness on the palate. Maybe not, maybe not quite as much on the nose, um, but plenty of sweetness, if not a little more so than neat for me on the, on the palate. That's what I love about whiskey. It's something different for everyone. Yeah, for sure. Oh. Yeah. Lovely stuff. Yeah. Really good. That's, I mean, what a way to like kind of cruise to the end of the week. Um, yeah. Yeah, this was a treat. This was definitely a treat. So. Yeah, absolutely. Very so, uh, yeah, nice. I mean, it was very nice to taste these with you, as always. It's always a pleasure, Jenna. Always. And, uh, wow, I mean, two pretty killer whiskeys. So I hope everyone out there gets some or has some already coming to them. And, uh, yeah, we look forward to sharing more with you throughout the month. There's plenty more plenty more goodies to come, for sure. I mean, the, the June outturn was pretty freaking awesome. I stacked that thing. I man. mean. And it was cool to see that, that only the bottle of the month bottle sold out the first day, yeah, which is I mean, nice. You know, I mean, it's nice. It's someone who's tuning in the next day can still get some stuff. It but, is. Uh, but, yeah, yeah, it's. Listen, you, you got to come strong in June. You know, you're you're fresh off of off of a festival month, yeah. and you want to kind of keep everything going, keep the good vibes going, and and you do so by releasing some really awesome casts. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I mean, why yeah. Hoghead is in there? I was like, what? I know. That's that's really exciting. Distillery eighteen. Yeah, yeah. Really I mean, exciting. That's the first Distillery eighteen I've released since I started working for the Society. Wow. Well, going back to June of 16. So, wow. yeah, that's yeah. cool. Yeah, there's that's some really cool, cool stuff in there. So, I mean, July, yeah. how do you, but how do you keep like following up with, you know, that's, that's a big, that's a big outturn to, I mean, you do it. Well, you know, there are a lot of, a <laughs> lot of, uh, a lot of wheels in motion to make this happen for everybody. So <laughs> well, I am a mere, I'm a mere custodian, you know, well, I, I mean, that's, that's all I am. So we are, we are grateful so for it's, it. Because... It's my pleasure. And uh, yeah, so hopefully you and I will be back again, yeah. back again together soon. I hope so. Yeah. All so, right. Well, do we want to like send a cheers off to all the dads out there? To all the dads, uh, I was told. I think John, maybe John is still watching in uh, in Hawaii. John Amira, wonderful uh, member of ours. So when when my daughter was first born, John reached out to me, and he told me that being a father will be the most challenging and the most rewarding job you ever have in your life. So to all the dads out there, challenging, rewarding, we appreciate you all. Cheers to that. Cheers. All right, I'll see you next time. All right, sounds good. Right. Bye. Bye-bye.